Revenge Films. My name is Sarah. I live with my husband, his son slash my stepson, and my son as a family of four. My husband, Thomas, and I were in office romance, and when we both found out that we were divorced with one child, we decided to be together and get married. At the time, my husband's son, Sean, was still really little, and my son, Nathan, who was three years older than him, got along like they were real siblings. My husband's ex-wife was a free-spirited person, and apparently she had an affair and left the family. So both my husband and Sean really hated her, especially my husband, who had a very stubborn personality, said he never wanted to see his ex-wife's face ever again and despised her. While we were dating, my husband was very kind, but after we got married, little by little, he started to show his true colors, and he became an emotionally abusive husband. I've been tolerating my life with him for 18 years, and recently, he would repeatedly stay out overnight without saying anything to the family, and even when he got home... I don't want to see an old hag's face. Why don't you be like a maid and shut up and go clean? He would say and belittle me. My sons saw my husbands behave like this, and they were both very thoughtful and would always take my side. That was the one thing that saved me the most. When Nathan turned 23 years old, he got a job and moved out to start living on his own. At that time, Sean had just turned 20 years old, and he announced that he would be marrying his girlfriend that he had been dating. What? Mary? But you just turned 20 years old! Don't you think it's a little too soon? Ever since high school, we promised each other that we would get married when we turned 20. So we both worked really hard to save money. I also got my associate's degree, and I found a job already. So why not? And what are her parents saying? They're very supportive. Especially her mom, because she really likes me. So they were really happy about it. I see. This is your life after all, Sean. I am also very supportive of you. Really? Thank you, Mom. When I spoke to my husband about the marriage, he barely reacted, like he had no interest whatsoever. And he wasn't against it either. When I told him that prior to the wedding, we would be meeting the partner's parents, my husband said that he was too lazy to go, so I had no choice but to go alone with Sean. I was nervous as we walked into the private room that we reserved at the restaurant, and there was his fiancée and her parents. It's very nice to meet you. Thank you for always taking care of my son. It's very nice to meet you too. Thank you for looking after our daughter. After greeting the fiancé's parents as instructed by my husband, I handed them his business card. I apologize that my husband had work today and wasn't able to join us. I see. Wait, I feel like I've heard his name before. The fiancé's mother had a shocked look on her face and froze. She seemed very flustered, and she started asking me all kinds of questions. This may be a little rude, but would you mind if I ask this? Yes? Could it be that Sean's birth parents and his parents that raised him are different? How do you know that? I knew it! How did this happen? This must be fate! What does that mean? Please, will you please explain this to me? As she began to explain, it turns out that his ex-wife didn't have an affair and run away, but that my husband was the one who forcibly took his son and ripped them apart. His ex-wife was sick and weak, but my husband forcibly impregnated her and made her give birth. Then after that, left the ex-wife sick on her own and said that he would find a new partner to raise his child. He ran away and never came back. His ex-wife wanted to see her son for all these years, but my husband never allowed that. And even to this day, she said that she's still longing for him. When Sean heard this, he became confused and couldn't understand what was happening. But after a while, his anger towards his father came out. When we got home, he said that he wanted to spend time to think about what to do next, and locked himself into his room. A few days later, not knowing any of this had happened, my husband said something outrageous. So, did you finish meeting the other parents for the wedding? Yes, well... I see. Even though you were a stranger, you did a good job being a maid for 18 years. Sean is getting married now, so there's no need for you anymore. Let's get a divorce. This was so sudden, and I was shocked up by my husband's selfish words. But when I realized that I was finally going to be free, I started to feel incredibly relieved. Do you want to know the reason why I tolerated you for 18 years? Tolerated? What are you talking about? 
I actually wanted to get a divorce a long time ago, but Sean was already attached to me and said he didn't want to be separated from Nathan either. When I told my husband that, that this is what kept me, he sneered. But then, Sean appeared, and following me, he opened up his mouth as if to tell his dad the truth. I wasn't able to cut off ties with an emotionally abusive father, because I felt obligated to you after my awful mom left us, and you took me in. Because of that, I'm sorry that it meant you had to tolerate so much, Mom. You have nothing to apologize for. I chose this path to be with you, Sean. Dad, I already heard everything. That it was all a lie. That my birth mother had an affair and left us. Of course that's not true! Who on earth told you that? My fiancé's mother was my birth mother's younger sister. As if! There's no way that such a coincidence would happen! You two are teaming up and trying to frame me, but there's no point! What are you trying to do? What Sean is saying is the truth. When we explained how we came upon finding out the truth, my husband was flustered. And as if to corner my husband, Sean spoke up. I've turned 20 years old, and I'm getting married. So there's no more need to worry about custody. I will be cutting off all ties with you. Dad, I'll never see you again. How dare you forget who raised you all of these years! You've become a despicable adult! I have recorded evidence of your emotional abuse until now. For when we would get a divorce. So, I will be suing you for a settlement fee. I hope you're ready. As I said that, and tried to leave the divorce papers and leave, my husband suddenly lunged towards me and went crazy. What settlement fee? I haven't done anything! Do you think you're strong by getting my son on your side? You're a joke! Hey, stop it! Stop it! Get away from mom! Your mom?! This woman is a stranger! Don't be fooled by her! Mom is the one who raised me all of these years! And I told you that I'm cutting off all ties with you, didn't I? You're the one that's the stranger now! Nathan came rushing over, and my two sons stepped in to stop him. What are you doing?! Sean, I'll hold him down! Call the police! Okay! After kicking and throwing a tantrum, the police came running in and my husband was arrested. After that, I successfully got a divorce and collected a settlement fee from my ex-husband. And I decided to rent an apartment right in between Nathan and Sean's new houses. My two sons were very mindful of me living alone now, and they often came over to visit. When Sean registered for marriage with his fiancée, he was able to reunite with his birth mother. After getting married, he was able to have a great relationship with both his birth mother and myself, the mother who raised him, and he seemed very happy. As for my ex-husband, because we were an office romance, I still had connections to his bosses in the company. I reported everything that happened to his company, including the police getting involved, and he was appropriately punished. Right before retirement, he was relegated to an office way out in the suburbs and would be left living a sad life with no one around. Based on his personality, I knew that there is no way my ex-husband would feel he did anything wrong. But perhaps after being transferred and living alone, he started to feel lonely. And one day, I got a call from him. Hello? Oh, are things the same over there? That's none of your business. What do you want? Can you tell Sean that he better call me every now and then? I can't get a hold of him even when I call. Sean has said that he never wants to see or speak to you ever again. So give it up already. I'm his real father, you know! This is all your fault that this happened! So you better take responsibility and do something about it! Are you harassing me? Do you want to be sued again? Damn it! Fine! After that, my ex-husband never tried to contact me again. I was finally freed from the emotional abuse, and I was able to gain a new happy life while maintaining a wholesome relationship with both my sons. When I thought about having to never see that man again, I'm happy and relieved from the bottom of my heart. How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more.